Into this tutorial, I will show you how to add numbers that are in different bases. And I have only two questions for today. Um, the first question, we are asked to add 1121 in base 3 plus 11 in base 2. But it says we should leave the answer in base 3. Since one of the component is in base 3, we can just transform the other part to base 3. Then we add them together and we are good to go. So we have to transform 1, 1 in base 2 to base 3. We first of all have to convert it to base 10, then from base 10 back to base 3. We have seen that in our previous lesson. So we have 1, 1 base 2. We want to transform it into base 10 number. We take the first digit 1. We multiply by the base, which is 2, then we add, we take the second digit 1, we multiply by the base. We assign our index from right to left, starting from 0, 1, we stop. And this is equal to 2 power 1 is 2, times 1 is also 2, we have plus, 2 power 0 is 1, then 1 times 1 is 1. And finally, we have our answer to be equal to 3 in base 10. Now we are free to take this number 3, which is in base 10, and convert it into base 3 in such a way we are going to have a common base. So 3 in base 10. We are going to form a successive division of this number using 3, which is the required base. So 3 can go into 3 one time without remainder. There is no remainder. But 3 can no longer go into 1. So we stop and take this numbers from this other one upward like this. So we say 3 in base 10 is equal to 1, 0 in base 3. This means that 1, 1 in base 2 is exactly the same as 1, 0 in base 3. Because we use this to convert it into base 3, they are the same, just that they have different bases. And we use this to convert it into base 3. So these three numbers, 1, 1 in base 2, 3 in base 10, and 1, 0 in base 3, they are exactly the same, just that they have different bases. So now we are free to add this number and this number together. Uh, since 11 in base 2 is equal to 10 in base 3, now we can say this plus this is the same thing as this plus this. So we have 1, 1, 2, 1 in base 3, plus we have 1, 0 in base 3. We then add together. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 is less than the base, so we can write it. This is base 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 is exactly as our base. So we take the remainder. We say 3 divided by the base, which is also 3. 3 can go into 3 one time without remainder. So, <clears throat> so we write the remainder, which is 0. Then we take this one to the next level. We have one plus one is two. Two is less than the base, so we can write it. And finally, we have one plus nothing is still one. So finally, you can see that this plus this will give us one, two, zero, one in base three, because they say we should leave the answer in base three. Now let us look on to the next question, which is this. In the second question, you can see none of the numbers is in base 3. So now we are free to convert each of these numbers into base 10. Then we add the result together. Then we reconvert the result into base 3, and we are good to go. Let's start with this one. We have 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. We want to change it to base 10. We take the first digit 1, we multiply by the base 2, we add. We take the second digit 0, 
we multiply by the base which is 2 we have 1 times 2 plus the last one 1 times 2 we assign our index from the right to left 0 1 2 3 we stop we simplify Two power three is eight. Eight times one is eight. We add. This time this is zero because zero times uh, four is zero. Two power one is two times one is also two. Two power zero is one. Then one times one is also one. Then we add all of these together. We have eight plus zero is eight. Eight plus two is ten. Plus one is eleven. This 11 is in base 10. Now let us take the other number, which is 21 in base 5. 21 in base 5. We convert it to base 10 as well. We take the first digit, 2. We multiply it with the base, which is 5. We add. We take the second digit, 1. We multiply it with the base, which is also 5. We assign our index from right to left, starting from 0. 1, we stop. 5 power 1 is 5 times 2 is 10 plus 5 power 0 is 1 times 1 is also 1. So this is also 11 in base 10. Now since we have converted all the two numbers into base 10, we are free to add the base 10 numbers together and reconvert the result into base 3 as required. So from here we have 11 in base 10 plus also 11 in base 10. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 is less than the base, 1 plus 1 is also 2. So we have 22 in base 10, which is the result of adding these two numbers together. But we are not done yet because we are now going to convert it into base 3. So let me use this face to convert 22 into base 3 as required. We have 22, which is a number in base 10. We are going to perform a successive division of this number using 3, which is the required base. So 3 can go into 22 7 times because 7 times 3 is 21. We have 22 here, so we have a remainder of 1. 3 can go into 7 2 times but 2 times 3 is 6 but this is 7 we have a remainder of 1 as well but 3 can no longer go into 2 so we stop we take these numbers from this particular one to the right upward so 22 in base 10 is equal to you start with this we have 2 1 1 in base 3. So this 211 in base 3 is the result of adding these two numbers together leaving the answer in base 3. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues.